Well, I have two wheels to work on this week, and as I've been pondering these, I'd kind of put them in the category of individuals going to the doctor. First one I would say, he's probably in his 50s, maybe early 60s. He's worked hard, but there's enough there that with a little help, we can put him back and make him pretty functional again. The second wheel, yeah, he's got a little more age on him and I'd put him to a little older category. Not to say really what, but he's about ready to retire. I'd put him more into the geriatric area. That's what I'm going to work on this week. Well, this first wheel has been to the doctor before. It's already had some repair work done, but it's been productive in its life and has deteriorated a bit more. So it needs to come back and get a little more help. We can still put it back together and make this a good, serviceable, functional wheel again. Well, I think these are all the spokes that I can salvage in this wheel. There's one here that I have to replace, and there's two here in this section.
On sizing this tire, I took and actually sanded this wheel down to match the circumference of the tire. Now I want the wheel to be two tenths of one percent larger OD on the wood than the tire. So I have that measurement to where I want it. But this is a style of repair that I oftentimes will run across. You can see where the joint was welded on the outside face of the tire but it wasn't done inside. You can see the, the break here that has not been welded. So this type of uh, repair is done when somebody has taken usually two pieces of angle iron that weld to the face of the tire, put a bolt through it and try to cinch this down to tighten the tire up on the wheel and then they'll put a weld across the face but they're unable to weld inside here against the surface of the wood. So that's what you end up with this type of result. It will hold, but as you can obviously see, it's less than ideal. But it's for somebody that doesn't really understand the concept of setting tires and how that all works. But now that I have the wood adjusted to the ID here, to the OD of the wood, all I need to do is finish this well, then I can go ahead and set this tire onto the wheel. These are the California rivets that came off of this wheel. They help keep the fellows centered on the tire. And I can draw these back out and generally reuse them as they are. Well, when I looked up the definition of geriatric, one of the definitions came up to be an old person needing special care. Well, this second wheel is a geriatric wheel. It's not going to be functional anymore. Its useful life is kind of at the end of its life. 
The person who owns this wheel really keeps it around for nostalgic reasons. It was from a ranch that he was familiar with, but it is pretty much for just display. So we need to hold this together and it takes a little special care to make this work.
Well, this second wheel that I've referred to as my geriatric wheel takes a little special care and kind of a little finesse to make it hold together. Now, it's not totally worthless wheel. There's a lot of memories if we could only get this wheel to talk, if it could only share its life's experience. So productive years, maybe they're past, but it still has a purpose, especially for the owners that want to keep it around for a remembrance of the history of the days that are long gone. So once again, appreciate you following along. Thanks for watching.